Good morning, everyone. It is day 18. It is early morning, day 18, and I quickly had to come on to show you that I had a, a, a Bob Ross happy accident. And that is as I was making my coffee this morning. I will show you. I had a happy accident and spilled grounds all over the floor. Now, what is what does that mean, my Bob Ross happy accident of spilling coffee grounds? Well, that means I get to quickly sweep my floor, something that we have not done in 28 days. <laughs> yes, I've cheated a few times. You've watched me sneak that mop back around. Um, but this is also, so a few things that have frustrated me throughout this. We're finally doing laundry. We're catching up on laundry. Um, but not, not cleaning the floors. Again, just even once a week, it would be so valuable. But I had a happy accident, so I'm going to sweep my floors this morning. Maybe two, three minutes of vacuuming. I have that much fur and crumbs. It's about time. It's about time. That was a happy accident. So today is day 28, but technically yesterday was day 28 because I took a day off. I took a day off from doing anything on my list of things to do because, you know, sometimes you need it. So I took a recharge day and it kind of fits into what we're talking about today for the fly lady because it is talking about taking care of ourselves. So I am making some coffee. I'm going to do my two, my morning two minute hot spot. I'm going to get my sink shined because I did nothing. There's quite a few dishes in here. So I'm gonna get my sink shined, do my two minute hot spot so I can just kind of feel a little bit more put together for, to start my day. Um, I'm going to check out my calendar just to uh, kind of make my plan for the day. Uh, I'm very excited to get the day started. I am feeling completely recharged. We will go over all of what the baby step is in just a bit, but I just wanted to say good morning. Let's get some coffee and catch up. shined the dishes are in the dishwasher I have done my two minute room rescue I'm going to um, enjoy my coffee and then I'm going to do my five minute room rescue and because today is a very heavy workload day um, I'm going to do my 15 minute declutter more than likely all before I shower and get ready because I'm also going to be getting in my workout so it's a very very packed morning for today but um, I got a lot to do, so I gotta, let's go.
Fly Lady Day 28, I just finished my workout and while I was working out, I looked at this section of my gym that has been driving me crazy for a long time, but I just put it off because I come in here, I work out, I do my thing and then I, I go on with my day. And I, I'm going to give you a tour because this is, before I even shower, I'm doing my 15 minute decluttering in my gym. And I think I can complete this whole task in the 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna give you a little before of everything, um, and then we'll do an after. But I wanted to show you uh, my inspiration of the day is to declutter, and I am sweaty, and I feel awesome because I got my workout in, and now I'm gonna tackle this project right here. So, let's go. Hi, lady. Here is the before and afters of the gym. An unused wine rack. My son's toys. And my 15 minute room rescue is going to be over here. So I'll just kind of go. All right, not gonna lie, this box has been there for like seven years because that's one of our moving boxes. And my husband wedged it up there. I don't even know what is in it. But I assume it's mine if you put it in the gym. All right, 15 minutes, let's go. garbage all decluttered it's a big box full of decluttered that feels good uh, this stuff is gonna get moved jump ropes can go outside this stuff's gotta get washed and moved That's right. I am on a roll and I am feeling myself so we're gonna keep going Room rescue. Oh, that's still empty. Not bad for 20 minutes. 